What's going on? I'm Grim Repair. Welcome to the channel. Today we're working on a van where the blower does not work in any position but high. And when I wiggle it around, it won't come on still. And the, the switch feels pretty normal. Feels like a good switch. A um, couple causes we could have that would give us this would be a bad switch, bad wiring, or a bad blower motor resistor. It's usually the resistor, especially if the switch feels good and nobody's messed with the wiring. So today I'm going to show you how to change the blower motor resistor in an E-Series Ford van. Here's the part, and there'll be links down below in the description for this. It looks like that. And you're just going to need some basic socket sizes to do this. First thing we're going to do is remove the battery. On on every car I've ever seen, the resistor's always been located somewhere on the heater box. And on this van, it's outside under the hood. And then there's a battery hold down, holding the battery down right here. Gonna loosen that up. We're gonna lift out the battery. And there's the resistor right there. I think the battery tray is still gonna be in the way though. That's a couple 13 millimeters. Now we can get this washer fluid uh, fill tube pulled out of the way and it looks like a couple eight millimeters. It's going to be one on the bottom side also. Now we're going to take a flathead screwdriver. Pop these clips out a little on this connector. There we go. Looks like this has gotten some water on it. It's a little bit rusty. It's the same as the new one. So we're gonna screw the new one in. Just gonna slide it into the heater box. Get both the screws started before you tighten them all the way down. Make sure it's lined up. Don't go crazy, you're just screwing it into plastic. We're gonna plug it back in. Put that fill tube back on the washer fluid reservoir. Slide the battery tray back in there. Tighten those 13 millimeters back down. We're gonna put the battery back in there. We're slide the hold down back in there. Tighten it back up. Put the battery cables back on, starting with the positive lead. That way you don't arc off of the chassis somewhere with the negative post hooked up. Now you can do the negative. Then we're gonna go back in and test it out. All right, we got air on low, air on medium, air on uh, medium again and air on high. So that's it, high five, you did it. Thanks for watching.